so yeah, a lot has transpired. They've gone from, you know, horses to to tractors to now we're into GPS guidance tractors where for a mere thirty thousand dollars we can put a guidance system on a tractor and it'll guide itself through the field and make your your rows nice and straight. <laughs> so there's a you know a lot has gone on through through farming and it just uh, it just all costs. The uh, years that we started, it, it was a little the easier to start then than it is now with all the modern technology and what have you that you've got to deal with and mm -hmm. environment and so forth and it's very difficult for uh, someone that trying to get started from nothing to start out it's almost impossible. And so it's kind of sad to see some of these farms having to sell their water off and to sell their places off because they, you know, it comes to the time because of our age maybe, but we, and we've told our children go find something else to do. The ranch can't support a large family, you know. And we always told my kids, go get education. Mm -hmm. uh, Get a good job, because so when Dad and I retire, we come live with you. <laughs> and, and I think one of the big changes that, that, that I've noticed all over my lifetime is that you can, in those days, hard work, just hard work and just didn't spend any money, you could, you could make it if you worked hard. And nowadays, you can't work hard enough. You've got to have, you've got to have some help financially through inheritance or through... Uh, luck or another income and that's what I've seen in our area is most of the the land that's owned in our area now is owned by um, you know I have a neighbor that's an attorney and, and I have one that's in the medical profession Well, young kids can't afford just to go out without some background help financially. Can't, cannot afford to get on ranches anymore. And so that's why we're seeing such a change, I think, in our landscape, is because uh, young kids, they just, you know, don't have that kind of money to buy ranch. And if you, if you uh, die, then you have the estate, which we call the death tax, to face. And that takes a lot of chunk of money. In fact, a lot of ranches are sold because they have to the, pay the taxes. So, you know, if the farmers and ranchers financially could keep their places, we'd have all the open spaces in Larimer County that we'd ever need, and, and we wouldn't have to worry about the weeds and taking care of it. But I think the small rancher is a thing of the past. The mom and pop deals about went by the way of the yeah. mom and pop small stores. It just, yeah, because it's all we're, we're outdated. We're out. The time has changed, and you better roll with the blows, and or you're going to get left in the dust.